Guido Brothers, Guido and Vino, Vino. And you know what? This is the first time we're going to be doing a brand new thing. And it is called <laughs> Emails from Around the Globe. May I have the paper, please? Thank you very much. <laughs> this is an email, actually, from somebody who was watching our videos. And this one is from... Palo Alto, California, that's not very far away from here, and it's from somebody named Hap, H-A-P, Wotilla. Now, that is a funny name. It says, Dear Vito and Guido, how long have wine barrels been around, and how much wine do they hold? Now, that is a good question. Good question. Thank you very much. Now, this one is a traditional Bordeaux barrel, okay? It holds 225 liters of wine, almost 60 gallons of wine which is about 24 cases of wine, about 300 bottles of wine, more than my brother can drink in one sitting. <laughs> now, these ones that we use here are from France. These are French oak barrels. The tree, in case you're a trivia expert, is called Querca Petrea. The barrels from America, that are also white oak, but the tree's different. It's called Quercus Alba. Different tree, different grain, different flavors. Personally, we like French oak. A little bit more money, in fact, a lot more money, but we think they make better wine. Answer to the first question, Mr. Wotilla. Second part of the question, how long have we been using barrels? That's a good one. There is a, actually a mention of using wooden barrels in history to hold wine that date back to 350 B.C. Now, that's a long time ago. And they found Cooper's tools. You know what a Cooper is? A Cooper is a person who makes barrels. They found Cooper's tools, like this one, dating back to 100 B.C. They actually found it. Not this one, but one that was kind of like this. What they do with these things is they take them, and they actually, this is called a, a, a bung driver, and they, the hoop driver, and they actually pound these things in. There are no screws that hold these things together. They really are marvelous. It's actually... France's only cultural contribution to the world, other than the love for Jerry Lewis, and I never quite figured that one out. But that's about all I have to say on that one. We had another email from around the globe. Wine, please. Thank you very much. You got anything to add to that? Buy a wine and nobody gets hurt. I knew he was going to say that. There you go, Pally. Let's go have dinner. Ha! Oh, that's good.